Hello guys and welcome back to 10 Minute Critique. It's been a while, like I don't know, three months since we've done the last video. Do apologise for that. Um, been doing quite a lot of schoolwork, stuff like that for GCSEs that are coming up in like seven weeks or so, so that's why. But I've been trying to process a few videos here and there. Um, but yeah, I've tried to get as many out as possible and as you can see there's none. But anyway, before all that, as I say, I want to apologise for all the guys who have sent in their 10 Minute Critiques. Uh, there's about another three left or something like that I've got to do. Um, but I'll get through them at some point. Um, so yeah, but anyway, so then we focus on David Chandler, who is a really, really, really talented uh, railway photographer, as you can see by some of his work just on here. Um, so yeah, really. Um, now, he's, uh, he's great. He's great. He does a lot of different variations of shots, and that's what I quite like about his work. Um, so he may be trackside, he may be doing a wide, he may be doing a close-up, he may... There's loads of different stuff that he does and it's it's wonderful. So uh, yeah, he's got 10 of his images right here. He says it was very hard to pick, just 10. I know why, because they're really brilliant. And he's done loads since uh, his submission and they keep getting better. So anyway, here we go. I think we're on the bluebell here. No, Seven Valley, Seven Valley. Um, so yeah, here we go. We've got a... Uh, so. I like this shot. I really do. We've got it's coming from uh, right to left, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, uh, what's this? This is a. Uh, I like the teak coaches, by the way. A bit, a bit mucky, but hey ho. Um, so yeah, um, I the thing I like. I, I I like the angle. I like the angle because the actual angle of you can see the sun's like over here somewhere, uh, or up, you know up there. It's facing. The sun in the way, and it makes a nice sort of um, what's you know, it's, the front's nicely lit, etc. stuff like that. And you can see all the way down the line, uh, sort of uh, this looks like welded rail, um, all the way down the line, uh, to where the bridge is, etc. stuff like that. Um, the driver's out quite nice, um, so yeah, colors are nice as well. The only problem I do have, and this is just me nick picking here, um, it's just the side bit just here. I'd cut that in just so you haven't got the edge of a patio platform edge, something like that. Um, that's just me doing a bit of nitpicking just here. Um, but yeah, personally, I'd crop it in and just a bit more. Uh, overall, I do like this shot. It's quite nice. I like the blues, I like the colour, like the way the front is completely lit up. Um, so yeah, really nice shot. Really greatly in focus. What we've got, we've got an ATD. I've played with one of those before. Uh, with 55 to 200, uh, 250. Um, uh, 84 ISO 160. Yep, yep, yep. That's all good. All good. It's great. Lovely. Next, we've got Sir Keith. Sir Keith, he's down Swanage Railway now. I've done a few images of uh, him since. Wonderful, wonderful loco. And the thing that I love about this shot is the glow from the cab. Now, the great thing about steam is that, uh, or smoke in general as well, is that it picks up the light very well when you're doing a. Uh, uh, a long exposure. Um, so yeah, this was done for 25 seconds. Um, so yeah, you can see the lovely glow of the uh, fire coming out with all the steam just that built uh, that's built up along here. It's wonderful. Uh, again, we can see just over here where the signals are. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the actual spiral sort of. I don't know the the actual the way light gets reflected when you do long exposures, stuff like that going out from left to right. Uh, in sort of a star pattern. I'm not a big fan of that, uh, but you can't help it. I just find that this light here is a bit overexposed, maybe. Um, so yeah, and does tend to have, a, it, to me, it's a bit sort of distracting in a way. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of, I don't know what's going on here, probably because it's just shot in uh, at night and you can't help it. Um, so yeah, again, it's really nice, really nice the way everything is being uh, shot. I love the glow, like from here, to here, I love it, absolutely wonderful. Um, maybe get the bike handle in, something like that. I'm nick picking again, um, but yeah, overall, love the shot. Um, again, with ATD, ATD, yeah, F8, one, uh, 24 millimeters, uh, 24 to 70 this time. So, yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful image, do like it. Um, and it's very, very atmospheric, that's it. So, yeah, anyway, this time we've got a ooh, what's this, a four, it's a four. Four to, yeah, yeah. Um, so there, yeah. So this time it's a bit different. He's putting out a line side fire, I think. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, this is this is quite interesting. I like it because it's shot at a uh, a slow shutter speed, so you get the movement of the water. It's not just frozen there, uh, which I quite like. And you can see all the steam um, be, and smoke, possibly, uh, being uh, thrown about, etc. Stuff like that. I love that. Um, so yeah, personally, for me, I would have liked to have... I would, uh, if I was doing this, would have had a bit more emphasis on darker tones. For me, it seems just there's a bit too much white going on. Uh, I would have edged the blacks up a bit. Uh, and the shadows a bit um so yeah that's just me um but yeah again it's sort of because he's wearing all you know overall stuff like that again it's a bit more atmospheric refers to back uh in the 1900s when steam was 1900 yeah no forget um <laughs> back when they uh did this sort of thing and it's nice it's nice lovely composed you filled the frame uh up here quite <laughs> quite well actually um so yeah I like that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Again, with the ATD. Um, so, yeah. 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 Not bad. Like it. This is, these are the shots here that I adore. I love these shots. Um, so, yeah. Personally, brilliant. Brilliant. And I, I want to do, do one of these on a, uh, in the future at some point. Um, so, yeah. First thing, it's been wonderfully done. You're all very much straight there, I think. Um, so yeah, you've got the train in the dead centre here. Um, got a bit of a Pullman coach coming out of here. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let's have a look at here. So we've got one to one twenty fifth of a second. Again with the ATD um, at uh, eighty nine millimeters. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, it's a brilliant pan as this guy has said down here. It's wonderful. This is a horn. Ooh. What is it? What's this? This is a uh, mana class. Mana class. Um, so yeah, I love this. I love the pan, colors, wonderful, focus is on point, uh, shutter speeds are just right, so you're not getting like a completely obscured background, um, but it's brilliant, it's brilliant, you've composed this really well. Uh, personally, I would, uh, I would be, I'd be debatable, de debatable whether I'd keep the end of the coach in or not, um, but that's just me personally. Um, so yeah, I do like the end of the coach on there, then uh, it being completely removed, um, it's just, it's just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> personal preference. Otherwise, I love that. This is sort of detracting from the railway theme, but it's more of a landscape. Um, so yeah, and it's something different. Where's, where's this? This looks like De Norfolk. Um, so yeah, um, I like the blues. I like the blues on here. Personally... Personally, for me, it doesn't. It's not a shot that I do. Um, I, I personally find this a bit more boring in a way, not to be rude in any sort of way. Um, so yeah, uh, we got a, we got a bit of motion blur going on there, point three of a second um, on the shutter speed there. Um, but personally, I would have liked to see like to me, it's just like there. That's just it. There's nothing sort of that creates a nice scene in a way. Um, I would like to have either... I'd like, like, personally, if I was doing this shot, I would have had uh, done a long exposure so you get the motion blur of the water a bit more. Um, maybe so, something like that, I think, because this just looks like a snapshot in a way. Um, so, yeah. Maybe people on there, something like that. Maybe if it's a sunset, something like that. I like the sky colour. That's quite nice. Maybe bring that out a bit more. But personally, I think there just needs to be a bit more action that's going on. Um, so, yeah. Again with the ATD, 24 to 70 this time. F4. So, yeah. This one's lovely. I love this. This sort of, sort of, it's got the reminiscent, the reminiscent, the uh, bugger it. Uh, it's got sort of the idea of the old, um, sort of the present, but the sort of, preservation future in a way so the old new future in a way um so yeah this is tisley um so again this is a this is, is a mana class i'm guessing uh this looks like a four or a five possibly um so yeah uh this is a ooh, i've got to think now people are gonna moan at me 40 47 
people are going to moan at me. I don't think that's correct. Um, so yeah, I'm not. A, I don't do diesels at all. Um, but yeah, so here we go. So I like this because it's black and white, but also because of the framing, each side go each side. Um, so yeah, you got this is a big centerpiece. You've got Steam being released um, through uh, the. Ooh, I've got to think now. I should know. I should know. Yeah, we've got Steam being released through uh, the. Uh, ooh. Through the uh, cylinder cocks, there we go. Um, so yeah, came to me. This man here, I can't tell if he's dressed up in sort of uniform back then, but again, it adds. It adds to there being nothing here. Personally, I would have liked it if there was not the man here, but again, you can't really help it. Um, so yeah, maybe let me again here. Personally, the man not looking out. I know he has to. But uh, that's just me. That's just me. But still, I love this image. Even without those tiny little things, it would have. Uh, it's a wonderful image, either way. Um, so yeah, what are we doing? We are still in the A to Z, eighteen thirty-five. Uh, one thirty-five. Sorry, you're at you're at thirty-five. Um, so yeah, lovely, wonderful. I, not this in the frame, nice. Here we go. We've got a long exposure now of uh, a windmill, Chester Chesterson. Chesterton windmill. I can't talk. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a nice little star trail going on there. Um, so yeah, I like the framing on this. Again, you've gone very tight to the uh, top of the frame there. Personally, if that's all you had, I would have gone up a bit more and shot it again. Uh, I just think that's there's not much headroom there at all. Um, so yeah, wonderfully in frame. Again, maybe the wings on here just sort of, I don't know, they seem to be sort of merging in with the, they seem to be a bit, ooh, the exposure to me seems a bit meh on there. They seem to be merging in with that a bit more. Uh, there's no real contrast between them uh, at all. Um, so, yeah, I do love this, though. You've got the lovely contrasting colour against this whole of this building. It's wonderful. You've got the lovely bit of the sun uh, you can see in the uh, uh, sky just there it's wonderful um so yeah what we do 30 second exposure not bad not bad uh iso 100 18 to 55 so that's a kit lens uh yet again this time with a uh, not with an 80d with a uh, 1200 d um so yeah and it shows that you can you can do really great photos with uh, um lower end dslrs like a 1200d so yeah like this though wonderful although this is the frame just a bit more in the frame would be quite nice at the top. I think that's very close. Um, so yeah. Next we've got tornado, tornado, tornado. This is lovely. This one is because you've got the actual sort of sunset, the orange glow of a sunset um, being cast onto the side of the loco here. It's wonderful. A bit in the front here. It's actually this is profile picture. Um, so yeah, I love this. It's wonderful. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. Twelve hundred D again. 55 to 250 this time um so yeah it's wonderful it's wonderful you can see all the way to the end there the smoke's lovely ca uh, casting nicely all the way there um front all in frame um so yeah it's wonderfully composed um sharp sharp it is so yeah um i love it i love it i think the actual color of the sunset adds to this because i would just be meh but i think because there's the sunset color sort of coming in the sort of orange sun sort of it reflecting off this part here and being cast along at the top sort of here it adds to the whole um image altogether and it's wonderful it's wonderful absolutely wonderful and uh, yeah i think that's one probably one of your best images um so yeah it's wonderful wonderful then we got what's this braunton tall valley tall valley i was just guessing off the plate there i didn't really look at the number um so yeah, uh, teat coaches again, teat coaches again. Um, personally, again, sort of the shot, uh, I wouldn't have uh, composed the shot in this manner. Um, but uh, again, it's still you still get a look, you still get a good look at the uh, loco. You do. Um, so yeah, I quite like 
I, I quite like this. I quite like it. It's wonderful. You can see all the uh, smoke coming through. You can see where it's been before, which is lovely. Uh, you can see all the landscape beneath it, which I guess <laughs> is quite nice. Um, personally, I would have gone a bit more... I would have gone somewhere else, personally, for this shot. Um, I'm not a big fan of the top-down sort of shots, if you get what I mean. Um, where you're higher than the actual loco. Uh, but that's just me. Again with the ATD, 24-70 F4. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. I do like the sky though. The sky is a nice contrast onto the loco. Um, so yeah, again, it's been well lit from the uh, side on here. Uh, although I feel the front is a bit more. I would like it if the front was a bit more lit, but of course you can't help that because you're in a little bit of an embankment here. Um, so yeah. Personally, the uh, smoke looks a bit overexposed. A bit, it, you know, it's getting to that stage where it looks white, um, and there's no real shadows or contrast anything in there um so yeah but other than that i really do like this even though it's sort of a generic shot in a way um but um you know it works and that's the main thing i guess um but yeah like it well done then we've got 92 squadron 92 squadron is probably one of my it's probably my favorite uh unrebuilt um and mainly because it's got no number at the front and it just looks so lovely uh personally although the number there does ruin it for me just slightly but hey ho we won't go into that um personally for me this isn't a shot that i would take i'm not a big fan of the um just the pylons all these little telephone poles going along here that's just me uh i think this would have looked a lot better in black and white personally because you've got a lot of uh, black smoke coming out of the loco, um, and then you've got these sort of you've got browns, you've got um, you've got you know browns, blacks, really that's all. Um, so I think that would work a lot better than color, um, and to give it a bit more of an atmospheric vibe. Because uh, the trouble is with all this black and sort of you know dark colors and bland colors up against the green and uh, sort of these purplish, I think, bushes or whatever. Uh, brownish again it to me doesn't seem like a good contrast so i think black and white would be nice to create the sort of uh atmosphere um as it comes through around here um so yeah i think black and white will work work wonderfully for this image um but yeah um other than that really that's all i can say about this image i think black and white would look better than color um so yeah, i do like the way you see the carriages though through uh through there but uh yeah what you're shooting again hd uh, 55 to 250 so yeah that's all the images from david chandler um i love them i love them i really do there's a great there's a great assortment of shots um so yeah personally a few of the shots could be done a, could have been done a bit better um but hey ho that's just me and my <laughs> my uh ways i would take the shots and uh edit them but hey ho hey ho that's it so yeah, thank you to David Chandler for sending those in. Really appreciate uh, him uh, uh, enabling me to critique them. Um, so yeah, uh, with that said, go down in the description down below. You can see David Chandler's uh, Flickr page where you can go and find more uh, of his uh, really wonderful, talented work um, that he has done. It's wonderful. It's wonderful, 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 wonderful quality uh, photography uh, for railway. So if you uh, want to, go give him a follow. I think you'd really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, that's the end of 10 Minute Critique. If you want to go and send your uh, critique, go down in the description down below. Go and send in yours, and I'll happily get to it <laughs> at some point. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll be seeing you soon. Take care. And yes, goodbye.